Let's take a closer look at Tesla's V robot presentation last night. The first thing Tesla presented was the RoboTaxi, which looks somehow like a combination of Cybertruck and VW XL1. It's a relatively big car with aerodynamic shape, butterfly doors, but only two seats. It has a huge trunk, so it might be great to bring it to the airport with big luggages. It has large but thin tires. The interior is spacious, has no pedals, no steering wheel, but a big screen. Tesla worked on an automatic cleaning system for the interior and uses wireless charging, so the vehicles can be maintained autonomously. Such wireless charging is usually a plate in the floor of the car with around 11 kW. New systems even have up to 22 kW and important for the efficiency is the distance to the charging plate, so it will most likely come out of the floor to be closer to the car. The RoboTaxi should be available before 2027 for less than $30,000, which would be great. The potential which Tesla and many others presented in the past is that cars can be used much more often. You can let your own car drive around to transport others and earn money for you. Your car will have a lot more mileage, but there will be less cars overall and most importantly, a lot less space needed for parking. Another vehicle Tesla presented was the RoboVan. They talked about transporting 20 people, but we could only see 14 seats. It looks a lot more futuristic with fully covered wheels and it was surprisingly low, which might be a problem with standard curbs. But we only saw a prototype here and the future vehicle will have a few modifications. In the van we couldn't see any entertainment screens or cargo area. The third product was their Optimus robot. It was impressive to see how well the Tesla robot could walk compared to other humanoid robots, keeping in mind that Tesla doesn't work in the field as long as other companies. The robot can benefit from the experiences with autonomous cars and it could be a new huge market. If you think about hard physical jobs such a robot could do or how it could help you in the household, there are many applications. And the interactions at the Tesla event with the robot showed a high development level. The only risk was just the crowd getting too close to the robot because it could confuse it. So Tesla had lots of people clearing the way and guarding the Optimus. So Tesla showed three impressive products which all work autonomously. It's the big focus for Tesla now and opens new markets for them. How did you like the Tesla presentation? Let me know in the comments below and see you at the next video.